Hello everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking one of my videos, hello and welcome. And I really hope you do come back. So this is just a very quick message. Um, now, most of you who watch my readings know I'm a twin flame reader. So I'm guessing this is from a twin about twin flames. But this is just a quick message. I, ke I kept hearing the Power of Love song today by Jennifer Rush. And I feel the sum of the ma masculine wants you to know they're about to make an appearance back in your life. So, this is just a quick one because I've got another message to go out. I've just done another message as well for a Divine Masculine. This is one specifically from a masculine to his feminine or to a group of masculine. So, I'm going to start by getting some Power of Love cards since the song keeps on coming through. Now, that song could be very specific for someone. Um, someone could, that song could really resonate for you and your peers or something like that. But that song, um, so I feel, now I want to find out what, what's going on here. Can I get overall energy for what's going on here for this connection? Cooperation. <laughs> well, so this is someone who definitely understands now that they're supposed to be doing something with you. Something about your love has healed this masculine. The power of love has healed this masculine. I, I keep on hearing believe in the power of her love believe in the power of love because this this person wants to come back and show you how much they believe in the power of love now as well so cooperation in your quest to manifest the energy of love you realize that every person and experience has that value and I was actually saying in my one of my readings last night before about love how it's the most valuable commodity in the world, but it's absolutely free. It's the most valuable commodity you can ever have in your life. Greater than everything, greater than money, greater than oil, diamonds, gold. But yet it's free. It's free to give and it's free to receive it. And that blows my mind every time. So this person's understanding the value, the true value of love, the true power of love, which is amazing. And I'm looking at all this beautiful turquoise energy. So I, I definitely feel like Angel Sandal Fawn or something like that could be around this masculine. So vision. No matter what you see in the bigger picture, the, the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So this is something you guys may, with the, with the cooperation and vision, you guys may have some sort of vision of the future together to build something beautiful together. Definitely to work together in some way to build for a future for yourselves. Let's see. Oh, that was feisty. Elevate. I like how the elevation card came out and the card literally jumped up in the air. So you are making the connection. You're I'm sorry. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love at this time. So this masculine. Now I I'm picturing someone here sitting at a desk. They could have a laptop, they've got on glasses, like this. A pile of paperwork here. This is someone who is very career driven. Now they don't have to work in an office, that's just the image I'm getting. This was someone who was very, very focused on earning money. This is somebody who was focused on their pentacles. This person may have enjoyed some casual dating here and there, but they may have told you, I don't have time for love, I don't have time for this. This person is understanding how amazing the power of love actually is. They're making, because see when you actually decide to love someone, when you decide to open yourself up to love, now I'm going to tell you a little secret, okay? Now, I'm always saying to you guys, I, I always preach to you, give love, even to your enemies, pray for your enemies, and I, I do, I do stand by that, because I do it myself. Um. But I made a decision to reach out and to give a message of love to someone who who I felt needed it, and I may not get any any um reciprocation or anything like that. But I knew they needed it in that in that moment. And as I say, I feel I feel proud of myself because I thought I've really overcome a lot. I've let go of my pride and my ego and the fact that. I don't know what will happen now, but at least I know I've given them that love and told them 
how much they mean to me and stuff like that. Knowing that even if they don't reciprocate back, they know that I'm how I how much I care and value them. So I always say give love even to those who don't deserve it. And I'm I just I just want you to know I stand by that. And I wasn't saying this person I reached out to that wasn't deserving of it, but it was somebody who made me feel less than at one point. And I thought I want to to raise their vibration and raise their spirits and let them know how amazing they are. And whatever happens, whether they get back to me or not, it doesn't really matter because I've done my part. I've set in the, those loving intentions. I've raised someone's vibration just by letting them know how amazing they are. So you can elevate yourself just by loving. And I, because I lifted my own spirits by doing that today and I was proud of myself. And so, but also when you make that conscious effort to give it, but also when that person receives it, it's a beautiful reciprocal elevation between the two of you. Present, you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love into your current circumstances. So this person, as I say in the past, mm -mm. now this is for a lot of divine masculine, so I know this isn't very specific, but I'll try and get you some specifics. So this person definitely lives in a city. They live close to... Um, they definitely live close to some sort of busy road, whether it's a freeway or something like that. Because um, I'm seeing kind of like, you know, drive overs and things like that. So this could be a view from where they live. This person, they they like coffee because I'm seeing like a, and I'm not going to say the brand, but I'm seeing like a, a coffee cup with the lid and stuff on it and the sort of holder thing that it sits in. <laughs> so this person obviously maybe goes every day to the same coffee shop excuse me for sneezing there that generally means something that's like a clearing of the energy um brass tacks i don't even know what that means getting down to brass tacks well this is oh straight talker this is someone who's a very straight talker they don't mince their words they get down to brass tacks um this person could have a dog, a small dog, like a um, corgi or um, one of those little, it's like the little um, fluffy dogs with a wee pointy nose and it's got a, a feathery tail, but it's kind of got a long brown and white coat. Or someone in their family possibly does and they love this dog. Now, as I say, this could be for one masculine, this could be for a number of masculines. I could be picking up on a number of masculines here. I think I'll get some zodiac signs as well. But as I say, that song is very specific. So somebody could be hearing that song a lot. Or your masculine could send you that song a lot or something. Give me one more card and I'm going to quickly get... Because I say, this might be a quick reading of friendliness. So there's definitely, you're able to recognise traits in common with one another in order for, to forge love-based connections. So this, again, that's another connection for someone. This is someone who you have an undeniable friendship bond with as well. This is someone that you could probably sit for hours and talk about anything. This is someone you could probably spend a day with and never get bored. Um, they, yeah, you bring each other so much joy. You bring each other so much joy. <laughs> And I, look, that's so weird, right? Because I just split the deck on release and I split the deck on past. <laughs> releasing the past. So there's definitely something here about releasing the past as well. Humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. So maybe this masculine has a transformation. So this masculine is definitely going through a transformation and it's all to do with love. But there's something here about you guys have an amazing friendship there's some sort of um and unity yes i'm telling you this person and detachments here as well so there were some sort of detachment separation that had to happen to bring in this union energy this unity energy but whatever went on here this 
person definitely um they chose another path they chose another path simply as that and they may have not been interested in what you were interested in at one point you know they just they they definitely <laughs> sparks wow and passion so there's something about to ignite here something something is about to be re-sparked between the two of you keep the flames of passion alive <clears throat> with the heartbeat of love and there's that word surprise i was hearing there's some sort of surprise coming in keep the sparks flying surprising each other with gestures of love there's some sort of surprising gesture of love coming in here there's some exciting exciting energy around the two of you I love it romance yeah there's some exciting and look at that look romantic surprises are on the horizon and be open to receiving them I am so excited for whoever this is. 11, 11 on the timer. Yes. Oh, my divine timing. And look what's right behind that. Yes. Whoever this is. Yes. Taking your relationship to the next level, one step at a time. Trust in divine timing. Love arrives when it's meant to. There's some surprise coming in here for someone. An opportunity is about to present itself that leads to a new start. So there's definitely, there's something exciting coming in here for someone. The power of love. The power of love. This person finally gets it. I'm going to get a quick message and then I'm going to go and start my next reading. Um, as I say, this is just a shorty. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yes. I want to be more than friends. This is a friendship. This is a very beautiful friendship where you guys may never have got to the passion stages because you might have been both um, in other connections or this person was too busy focused on, sorry, my hair's still wet, but this person was too busy focused on their career or something like that. But this person is now understanding. They love you. I want to be more than friends. Anything else from this deck before I get a, a zodiac sign? I feel you even though, even though we are apart. Just being near you is intoxicating. So this, there is a strong chemistry. Maybe this, that's why maybe this person avoided you or stopped talking to you because they just couldn't fight the passionate chemistry between the two of you. So, so many things remind me of you. I hide behind material things. Exactly. You speak to me through music. We will be together again. You were the best thing in my life. So this person has understood now. They lost something beautiful when they lost you, Divine Feminine. So let me get a quick zodiac sign here and see. Somebody wants you back. Somebody wants to surprise you. So Leo and uh, Leo and Venus. So I should put my glasses on again. <laughs> Seventh house. Gemini. Second house and the sun. Leo again. The sun and sixth house. Capricorn. Neptune and 10th house. Pisces, South Node and 11th house. Libra, 7th house and the Sun. Any other signs in the chart of these people I'm picking up on here? Gemini again, Sun and 5th house. Um, Taurus, Sun and Second House. Any more signs? Any more signs that are significant? Um, Scorpio, Ninth House and Saturn. And back to Leo again. So Leo... Oh! I don't know what that is. It's just one of the shapes. 
so Leo is so Leo, strong Leo, Leo, Capricorn, Pisces, Taurus, and Libra and Gemini. Um, oh, and Scorpio, I think we got so. Oh, wait a minute. And this is on the floor, so it doesn't really matter because I don't know where it landed. So, um, so yeah, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Leo, and Capricorn and Taurus are the main signs coming through. Um, so that's what I have for you guys. And I'm going to go and record the last message. And I send you all so much love and light. And I will talk to you all very soon. Namaste.